Hello guys and welcome to the second episode of our drag and drop series in Unity. In today's episode we'll be dealing with a bit of more advanced stuff compared to the basic we had uh, opportunity to do before. As you can see we are uh, into the same project as previously and right now what we want to do is we'll implement something I call smart drag compared to the very basic drag and drop system from previous episode and the smart drag can be seen in the unity editor itself if you look closely whenever you begin moving any object the position of, uh, of our mouse pointer relative to the anchor point of the object is saved throughout the whole movement so, as you can see in the example shown below, however, when we go and do the drag and drop uh, in the project we have created beforehand, we can see that anytime we press a mouse button in order to record dragging, the middle, so the anchor point of the object, immediately jumps to the mouse pointer position, which is sometimes uh, expected, but sometimes we want it to behave like in the Unity Editor window itself. In order to do that, it's not particularly difficult. We have to create yet another uh, flag, boolean flag, we call it smart drag. We set it to true and it's like, it's draggable, it will be a possibility to turn the option off or on. So right now in the on mouse over setting method, right now in the on mouse over method, we check whether the smart drag is turned on and if it is, then we'll have to do a particular thing to make the system work. But for that we need a new vector to, because as I mentioned previously, we are working in a 2D environment. I mean, it seems like it's 2D, which we call initial position. And we have to record the initial position of the object. And we have to record the initial position of the mouse. And since it's already a vector to 2, we don't have to cast it to vector 2 anymore. I mean, the cast is just needless. I mean, for the sake of uh, clearance, let's create a, another vector too, and let's rename those as initial position mouse and initial position object. And we have to set those to the position of both object and mouse in relation to the workspace whenever we start dragging. And right now, if the smart drag is on, and I mean, if it's off then it will work as previously but if it's on then the real fun begins so it will go in the else parentheses yeah now it's uh, looking good so actually instead of setting the position every frame to our mouse position we will add the change in mouse position movement relative to the initial position of the object which means that to the position of our object we add a vector which is the change of position of our mouse thanks to that uh, we will move the object exactly the same distance in every axis we have moved our mouse but the initial so the position of the object relative to the mouse will stay the same I mean it's uh, kind of difficult to explain but probably you can get it from the attached picture of course our new option is ticked on let's uh, make it bigger to make the result look 
more. And as we can see, whenever, wherever you choose to press the mouse button, the anchor point of the drag and drop movement will be set to this position. And if we turn off the, this uh, new option, we'll have the movement as before. So, you know, the sky is the limit. So it really depends on what you want to achieve. And as I showed you, you can choose whichever option you like. So thanks guys for watching and let's see you in the next video where we'll be dealing with yet another thing.